So let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson let's can learn about the Kotlin init block. So let's go and start it. So I have already launched my project over here and if you notice that I have changed the constructor as a primary constructor and I have commented out the previous uh, secondary constructor. So we'll be using a primary constructor and let us create an init block. So I N I T init and this will create an init block. So what is the init block in the Kotlin is that so after the constructor after cons our cons primary constructor get initialized and as soon as our constructor get initialized then the init block is called. So first this constructor is created and initialized and uh, after that the init block is created. So if you go to our activity over here we have created an object from a car class. And this will initialize and create a construct for us. After creating a constructor, it, it will initialize all of the data that we are passing as a parameter for us in this constructor. So this is how we are creating an object. And whenever we create a new object of this car class, then this constructor get initialized. And after this constructor get initialized, our init block get executed. Or after constructor, the next is the init block. So why do we need a uh, init block over here is that if you notice in a primary constructor like in Java that whenever we create a constructor there we can write some of the tasks or we may create some logic in our constructor if you have previously done programming in Java. But whereas in Kotlin we don't have that availability we are we are not able to do some kind of tasks we are not going to perform any tasks in the constructor. So that's why we have an init block here. We can make use of this init block and we can do some tasks or we can perform some tasks depending on the parameter or any other value that we are passing over here. So let's say we are passing a color and we can check something over here. Let's say if a color is equals to, let's say, plus equals to white, then uh, we are going to print out that one as let's say print out the color and uh, we will also print out let's say a uh, print ln and let me create a string template inside it and uh, the color the color color and the color is dollar dot let's get a variable and the uh, next one is after color we have a engine number just copy this and just paste it over here and just and we have an engine number so that should be engine number and finally we have a cc just copy this and cc and we get the parameter value over here so we have a init block and we have some tasks that we are doing like we are checking the if color is white and we are also printing out all of this one. And uh, after we have the parameter that we are passing over here, we have a variable of color and a variable of engine number and CC and that's why we are printing out over here. And uh, another thing about the init block in Kotlin is that it's not limited to one init block. We can create uh, another init block. So that's if you want to create a multiple init block, then we can do it in Kotlin. And let's say the color is of our red, then we are going to print out this one, right? So we have a two init block. And after the constructor get initialized with the parameter we are getting over here, color, engine, and the CC, then we are calling the init block two times. And that should print out some of the, we have also one condition which we are checking over here. And if you run this program, so let's go and run this program. And let's wait for the gradle build. And let's go to the run over here. And let's check over here. And if you go the system, the printout is white. So white is coming from here. So if the color is equals to white, we are printing the color. And then we are printing the color and the engine number and the CC. And the second, we are only printing the color over here, which is this init block. So if you notice that this line got printed two times. So this line of code got executed two times, which is this one and this one. 
and the white is only printed one time because after init here that we are checking for a red color so if you notice that we are first our constructor get called and initialized when we are creating an object our constructor get created and initialized and after that the init block get executed and if you notice we haven't explicitly called that init method it will be automatically called by our program or our class so after constructor is created then the init block is executed automatically so we don't have to make an explicit call over here so that's a good thing about the init block and uh, like a java the way we were performing some kind of tasks in our constructor but here in a kotlin we will be making use of our init block so that's all for this uh, lesson we'll continue with our lesson in the next video Till then, have a great day.